This is the Purple Trail in Tyler Mill Preserve, located in Wallingford, Connecticut. This trail is just shy of two miles long, has 95 feet of elevation change, and more fallen trees than you can shake a stick at. Here you go. <laughs> my guests this week are my two very good friends, Bob and Mary. Some of you may recognize Mary from her debut ride with my wife Kelly back in July. Since then, she's purchased a bike and gone for a handful of rides herself. But this is her first time attempting to conquer the entire Purple Trail. Come along and see if Mary is up to the challenge. I'm your host, Jordan Byron, and this is Jordan Byron Mountain Bike. Hello, Bridge. Mary's rocking a small 27.5 Diamondback full suspension dream machine, which fits her way better than that fat bike she borrowed for her first trail adventure. Better bike fit makes for a more confident and capable rider, and Mary has been taking full advantage of that fact. She pushed herself hard and even took on some of the more advanced lines the Purple Trail has to offer. Okay. Yeah, you're not restarting there. Straight right over the top of the rocks. The top of the rocks. Top of the rocks, keep pedaling, pedaling, pedal, pedal, pedal. Uh, you're doing it though. You got over the hardest part. Damn it. That's okay. That looked great. Riding with Mary reminds me of all the things I take for granted every time I get on my bike. Looking ahead, powering through challenging obstacles, and all the way down to just knowing when to sit or stand. Killing it. Yeah, get off the seat though. When you get those, to stand up all critical skills that experienced riders do without even thinking. There you go, keep looking forward. If you just keep pedaling, you keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. Nice job. Three down. Yeah, awesome, she's killing it. So it's a lot of work, but um, yeah, she's doing great. And while it's important for new riders to focus on good habits and techniques, it's equally important to catch bad habits before they become second nature. Mary has a tendency to take her feet off the pedals when things get hairy. Nothing wrong with that. It's something I've seen a lot of riders do when they're first getting started. Taking your feet off the pedals certainly isn't the worst thing in the world. That is, until you're riding through ankle-deep freezing cold water. <laughs> Are you getting this hand today? <laughs> no. Oh. Are you taking it off her feet? We still have to make it back to the car. We're, we're close to the car. Oh my god. She's a wild woman. All right. Zurak Garden. I'm really proud of Mary for taking on the challenge today and just sticking with riding in general. If you haven't watched her first ride video, I put a link to that in the description. But what do you folks think of Mary's progress? Any tips for new riders that I missed? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I don't mind. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My mission is to ride and document every trail in and around New England. Click subscribe and come along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's your turn. Let's get out there and ride. Man, it's nice to actually have a front shock. That thing is fing toast. There's something nice about having a... I don't even feel it. 29ers. Oh, I love my 29ers. All right, well, you yeah, know, let's... The chain's bone dry, so... That's the first thing. Mary's like, oh, no. Look at this, Jordan Byron from YouTube. That's right, Bob. Name of the day. This is where all that YouTube money's going, Bob. <laughs> the oil. I $80 worth of YouTube oil right here. 